In this video, we're going to be talking about time signature, and um, you're going to be, you, if you take a look at this document that I prepared, you'll see that there are these numbers that are stacked on top of each other. You've got a four that's sort of basically standing on top of another four. There's another one down here, four over four. If we look down here, we see three over four, another one down here, and all the way over here, we see some more three over four stacked over here. And these, all these groups of numbers refer to what is called uh, time signatures. Uh, uh, our time signature and what a time signature tells you and this is the really easy way to, to think about it you look at the number at the top and that tells you how many and the number at the bottom tells you what kind so this tells you how many of what kinds of notes fit into one measure so recall our, our um, discussion about measures that's each one of these little boxes basically and this is this number here is telling us that we can fit four quarter notes quarter notes, and we're going to talk about quarter notes more, but um, basically think about it kind of like a quarter and this being a dollar. We can fit four pieces into this measure nice and perfectly, four. So you remember I started talking about um, music and it being sort of like a train. So I've <laughs> drawn a little train here for you. <laughs> the first measure, so this measure here, is like our engine. And that's where we're going to have sorts of information. So here we see some of the information that we might see at the beginning of the train. And this is the time signature. This is going to give us a little clue about how we're going to want to play the measures that, that are going to follow. And then in here we see we've got a passenger train. And in these uh, passenger cars that I've drawn here, you'll notice that there are four windows. So I'm imagining that each of these passenger cars has four seats. And that each seat has its own window. So this number at the top here tells us basically how many seats we would have in our measure or how many windows you could think about it, how many. And the, the bottom number tells us what kind of note would fit perfectly in those seats. So I, for some reason, I think of quarter notes almost as like adult, adults, adults, however you say it. <laughs> so in this case, you, I've populated these seats with quarter notes. The quarter notes fit perfectly in their seats. They've got their window space. They're happy. They don't feel overcrowded. They fit perfectly in there. And so this is exactly what you would expect to see in a measure of four, four times. So let's, um, I'm going to, I'm going to take this train out of here. Bye bye train. And what we're left with is, is a piece of music that we really could, could see actually. And there are these sort of grayed out things, but don't worry about those for now. Um, focus on these quarter notes and these measures. So the first measure here could totally be, have four quarter notes in it. I just chose to not put them in here for this exercise. Um, now, not all trains have four seats because some trains have different number of seats. And I so I drew an example down here of a train, or passenger cars that had three seats. So you see that the number changes from three to four in the middle of the song. And up here, you see it. You see it here. And what that is basically telling us is, wait a minute, now we only can only, we can only have three seats in a passenger car. We can only have three windows, if you will, three seats per measure. But this, but the same type of person fits perfectly in those seats. Quarter notes. So let's go ahead and put some, oops, uh, let's put some quarter notes in there. And so there we see, oh look, these quarter notes are all perfectly happy in their three seaters. We're gonna get rid of that train now. And so this is what this music, what music um, might look like. You, you could have a measure that starts with four, four and have no notes, all rests, although this would probably be filled in right here. You'd have all rests and then you'd, you'd play um, three measures that had four quarter notes in it. And then you see right over here, it sort of has this three, four. Now you might be wondering like, well, why is this three, four over here and over here? Basically, this is just in here to make your life easier. The computer program that wrote this piece of music basically wants to give you a heads up that hey, on the next line, you're gonna your time signature is gonna change from four four to three four. So you're gonna want to be ready for that because they know that when you're reading music, when you go from the end of a line and you jump with your eyes all the way down to the beginning of the second line, that it's actually kind of tough. So they want to give that little hint. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna play what um what is written here. All right. And let me find the note, it's B. Okay, so I'm going to play, I'm actually gonna put this microphone down between my knees, so hopefully it, it doesn't sound weird here. <laughs> I'm kind of like making this happen. But I'm gonna actually bounce along with my cursor so you can sort of see where we are. All right, so I'll give you four for free and then we're gonna start. Here we go. One, two, ready and go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and here comes three, we're gonna switch to three. One, two, three, one, 
two, three, one, and we'll finish out, even though it's kind of predictable here. Okay, cool. So hopefully, the main thing that changed there really was, was my counting, right? I counted to four when I was in these measures, and I counted to three when I was in these measures. And we're going to talk about more about counting later. But you might have been saying, well, man, that sounded so similar all the way through. Like these notes, they just sort of blended right in. I almost didn't even notice that they were there. And yeah, you wouldn't be wrong to think that when these, when you start getting into more interesting music, more complex music, the context will will give you more hints about what's going on. The, you would totally sense what would happen. Just musically, you would hear a difference. It wouldn't just be all the same rhythmic value and all the same pitch. When you're doing all the same rhythmic value and all the same pitch, you might as well not even switch here. Just it just sounds the same. But when you have something more interesting, you'll notice it. Okay, so um, for your assignment uh, after watching this video, I just I attached a song. I think it's a pretty cool song. Um, I just want you to listen to it and tap your foot along, and I want you to count one, two, three, four, one, two. You just keep counting to four and starting over, and try to do that for the whole song. There are a couple of spots where the song slows down, so you have to be careful about that, but make it your goal to to count all the way through uh, the song. In a future video, we're gonna be talking about um, quarter notes and quarter note rest. This is what a quarter note looks like, so um, be looking out for that. So as a quick recap, time signature, the number at the top tells you how many, and the number at the, top, uh, number at the bottom tells you what kinds of notes uh, would fit into a single measure. And that's time signatures.